Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are again. Uh, Wednesday. I did honestly have to ask what uh, what day it was, if I'm honest. But we're all good now. So let's have a look at what we're up to today. I'm going to be working on a tile here, putting my name. full name and today's date which is the 8th of April there we go and tile number 8 yes tile number 8 there we go hi everybody are we all ready for this oh just give me one second I can't quite Large. There we go. That's better. We can see what we're doing now. Okay. Names on. Everything ready to go. Deep breath. Oh, what a day! It's been quite uh, quite hectic, if I'm honest. But uh, we're all here now, so that's all that matters. Nice, uh, nice to have a breather. So last session, then I said that we were going to work with um, a circle stencil. If you haven't got one, don't panic about it. Something round to draw about. It's just as a guide to get us going. But we are going to be using the outside and the inside. So, are we ready to go? Straight in with a pencil. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find... It doesn't matter if it's not in the middle. Um, but, you know, sort of it fits there. If it's a little bit smaller, that's fine. And just nice and lightly, I'm going to draw around the inside and then the outside oh hang on a minute sorry that I was reading Sue's message then about having lovely weather and I sort of like let go of my stencil oh do you know what I'm just going to get another tile I'll put my name back on that um, later there we go so we know where we're all going do you know what sometimes if you find that the stencil does move a little bit of blue tack under works wonders there we go sorted all right let's go a little bit larger that's just for a guide as i said so don't panic about um you can't see it or not just in pencil just nice and lightly so here we go i'm going to be working on this inside section for a moment and i'm going to mark sort of 12 o'clock six o'clock oh hi pat to be honest it probably keeps me sane as well it is nice to do this you, you do feel like there's people out there you know and it, it does make a difference okay so i've marked 12 o'clock six o'clock three and nine and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little mark either side uh and now in terms of measurements for that if we take our pen you can see it's sort of about the thickness of my pen so we don't want it to be too narrow. Um, if you were looking at that in measurements, you're probably looking, I don't know, 12, 12 millimetres. And then I'm going to do the same this way. So there we go. Let's do that mark again. If you want to check again with the pen. There we go. It's about right. There we are. Same on that one. Okay. So far, so good. All right. So we're going to use our stencil now just to help us out a little bit and we're going to go back in with pen and I'm going to use it to just help me a little bit so see these lines that I've marked so this outer one and this outer one here I'm going to just join it there and there and then I'm going to again as I said with my pen I'm going to mark it in okay I turn my tile I'm going to do the same again so I'm going to find this this mark and this mark here line the two up and what you can actually do this freehand if you want to but it's just nice to see that when you've got a stencil it's not just about drawing a circle or drawing the shape whatever it is use those curves to help you to um, you know be comfortable with what it is you're creating so there to there I think honestly I'm on for an easy life so if I can have that by using a stencil that's fine okay oh well Lane, fingers crossed they'll be here today uh, I can't remember when I posted them now 
If it was yesterday, they will be. I, put, I did post them first class. They went in the post box, so... Okay. If not, we'll sort it. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. So, I've got all four curves there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on this section here. So, from this curve facing out. And you can see that I've turned my tile. So, I've actually got the point facing upwards. And I'm going to make it a little bit big. Are we allowed to use a ruler at last? No, you don't need a ruler. We're using curves, look. Curves. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you, though. Oh, hang on. Let's come out of it. Blurred. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm going to go from this point upwards and create a little bit of a wobbly line. There we go. It's about there. Okay. And let's put a little round head on there. And then I'm going to come all the way back down. See, I've kept it quite thin. It's just a little bit wider at the top with that little head. And then I'm going to come quite quite close to that one and do the same again. Perhaps a bit smaller this time. And around and then come on back down. There we go. Okay. So if I'm going to go a little bit large, you know, you can see there's a little gap in between the two. Where that mark is for that inner circle, I'm just going to fill that gap in. You see? Okay. <laughs> hey, Sally, you don't need a ruler today. Look, they don't need to be straight. We're going as wobbly as we can get it. There we go. Sort of a bobble on the top there. And let's come back down again. Now again, that little gap between those two. Let's just fill that in. Okay, look like little aliens, don't they? And I'm going to go a bit smaller this time, nice and wobbly, and fill that gap in. There we go. Oh, Simon, I'm not going to say a word, but they're on their way. Um, what else can I say? There we go. And down. See, I'm just putting that each time they're a different height. It's almost like, imagine a family. And if you put them all together, they're all going to be different heights. This is like my little family of aliens. Sort of sticking out there. There we go, until I've got to the end. You see where I've got to the end of that, that line? Okay. Oh, you're all just coming. Oh! I know some people have already... Um, got their dream catcher and there's some fantastic pictures being put out I'm going to have to up my game I think just to keep up with you all you're all uh, you're doing a cracking job staying in I'm going from either home to office, office to home um, so I'm keeping really busy making sure that we've you know, got lots of things going on to keep you occupied bit of an insight goss actually I'm back on creating craft on Monday how about that? So, uh, yeah, I'm up there. I've got two shows again. Now, I'm sure somebody's going to ask me what time I'm on. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. It's in the morning. I think it's quarter to nine as the first one. And then I've got one in the afternoon. But I'll, I will put it on Facebook in a little bit. Where is the dog? <laughs> oh, my, the dogs are at home. I, I can't possibly bring... Seth is fine at the office, he'll sit and just chill out, but I don't think I could bring Benji. Benji will eat anything that doesn't even move, that looks sort of remotely not pinned down somewhere. He's, uh, he's quite the handful. Okay, there we go. So let's have a look at that from, uh, from where we're all standing, there we go. So I've got that kind of thing going on. All right. So I'm going to now turn to the next one. So I've got this point coming up again. Will there be anything new? I'm, oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, and those people that wanted the, uh, the journal out of the on-the-go collection, 
um, I've put a little bundle together of that too um, I've got a very nice supplier who's managed to get um, to get what I need I've just got to wait for a delivery so uh, it's it's good to know that this I say there's still people out there you know trying to keep us all going that's brilliant yeah. oh Marianne you're gonna have to have a look down my um my Facebook feed and have a look there's some pictures there of my uh, wonderful little puppy Benji obviously the summer Seth as well Seth is a bit camera shy you know, he, he doesn't like me taking photos of him there's a couple of videos as well the thing is though Benji runs like a gazelle at the moment I can't keep up with him so it's quite funny it's keeping Seth entertained I'm sure right you can see I'm just continuing again I've started in the middle and I'm just continuing working my way along making them all different sizes oh i don't want to colour that one i wanted to colour that one there we go putting that little top on the end and wobbling that line all the way down there we go just keep an eye on which one you're filling in at, at which time there there we go and of course when you've gone from the middle to one end Oh, Bridget, yay! You see this one, look, this one's a work in progress. Still drawing on this one. I suppose that's the benefit of making them yourself, as I can, uh, I can keep picking different ones up. There we go. My other one's in the kitchen today. It's on the, on the table. I was working yesterday. There we are. Just filling those little bits in as we go. Picking our way around. Cross and down. Hey, has anybody tried um, tangling on an egg yet? Being that it's Easter, I'm sure we've got some eggs in there. I'm give it a go and uh, have a have a tangle on it. That'd be quite interesting. It's a nice uh, it's a nice surface to work on. Very smooth. So the three dimensions is gives it a little bit of a different effect. You could do it in different colours and all sorts, just to decorate them up a bit. Imagine having um, your boiled egg and soldiers on Sunday morning and then draw on it. Be great. <laughs> there we are. There we go. Alright. So you can see where that's working. I wanted to do it. Do it, Marianne. so I'm working now on my third one I'm doing the same again I always start in the middle I think it balances out a little bit and it gives you a bit of focus you can get one good one in and then as you work towards the edge you don't feel you've got to squash it up any do a little one there there we go Put that in So as well, if you're having Easter eggs and they've got ribbon round them, why not tangle on the ribbon? These uh, these micron pens don't bleed, so they'll work on fabric and all sorts of things like that that you could play around with. That'd be quite nice. And put it on your book as a you know like a little fastening on your sketch pad. That'd be quite nice. again a bobble on the end so you notice that we're, we're making them all different on purpose some are bigger than others I'm not going big small big small though I'm trying to keep it a little bit random oh an idea for an egg tangle um, Marianne I'm going to have to have a, I'll have a look I'll have a think about it see what I can find I'm sure there's going to be something out there can use or well, make one of your own that would be a, a challenge something a bit different maybe start with an egg and do a an overly kind of swirl in it that would be quite interesting but lots of, lots out there to think about okay all right next one 
I'm going to do quite a short one there, I think. You know, a little filling that gap in in between. And then straight back up again. And filling that little bit in. So that gives me a three. Oh, Sharon, that's brilliant. You've got your starter kit, means you can start to putting all these in your journal. And I don't know if you know the, the little black envelope that all your tiles and things come in. It'll fit in the back of your book. If you put it right at the back on the on the grey board, it'll fit on there if you want to stick it to that side and keep all your tiles in the back. It'd be uh, quite nice. It just so happens that it fits. Just <laughs> kidding. Keeping in the same way as I'm doing before, just filling those gaps in. Try and keep them sort of narrowish. You don't want to go too wide there. Yeah, we're not social distancing these ones. Yeah, nice and close. Oh, great! Yes, you could. Actually, there's quite a nice sort of one, like a, a crazy paving type of tangle it's called N crazy N Zeppel that you could look up that's a nice one I've actually um, got it on my board here there we go hang on there you go crazy N Zeppel is this one here right, where was I there we go let's go for one that's kind of size came that way around just filling that little bit in even smaller one there on the end. Okay, I'm going to go to this side and fill in the gaps this side. Just colouring that little bit in as I go. There we go, and back up again. Now I must admit, looking at some of your um, coloured tiles that you did from the last session, I'm pretty impressed. I think we all got the hang of colouring. You know, I know some of you are like, oh, it's not quite right and it needs a bit more practice. They look fabulous. They really do. I think sometimes we, we stop and we look at what's wrong and we don't say, actually, I quite like that bit. However small that bit is, you need to try and do that. Have a look at whatever it is you've drawn and find a, a little bit of something that you like. Hi, Gracie. Um, yeah, there are so many patterns out there, it's unbelievable. Um, and the patterns, they do have names. But the thing is that they're not my patterns and my names. They are from Rick and Maria, who created Zentangle to start with. So for me to sort of publish the names of them, I, I'm not sure if that would be in breach of copyright. So um, I can mention a few of them as I'm going, but... Um, I don't want to sort of go into too much depth and, and get you to worry about them. There are so many on Pinterest. If you actually type in Zentangle step outs, you'll find a lot of, of their original ones come up and you get little boxes and gives you the instructions for how to do them. So that might be somewhere that you can have a look at. Crazy N, as in the letter N, N for no, and Zeppel is Z E double P Ali. It's quite a nice one. Okay, so, so far then, this is what we've got going on. We've got these funny little uh, weeds or little aliens, whatever you want to call them, growing around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on this section here. So let's, let's go this way and let's enlarge. Oh, Sally, get some colouring in. It's fantastic. In that session there. Okay, so from here then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this this sort of point here oh there you go this point here and I want to go to this point here but I'm going to create a little curve not too wide not too far up you see a little curve okay and then I'm just going to fill in a little bit there like so and then I'm going to come back and do a nice narrow line like so Okay, so I'm going to turn it. Hi Yvonne, hi Garth. 
So let's do that again. So here we are from this point to this point. I'm doing a little curve there. Okay, this time I'm going to go on the outside of that one. And then a nice thin one. There, just filling those sides. Okay, so so far you can see I've got two. Turn it round. There we are. And from here to here. Let's colour those little bits in. And okay. This side. Now I don't suppose you've noticed that I'm left-handed, and I know sometimes that you look at the videos and you're like, you're trying to copy me, and you're thinking that doesn't quite feel right. Do you know what? If that doesn't then work on that side of the page and do it that way. So don't you know, don't worry about whether it's copying me exactly. You do what's comfortable to you. Uh, to colour um, Bridget, I use pencils, I use polychromos on the boards and then I'll spray it afterwards with um, a spray varnish just to sort of bring it out of itself. Okay, so we're here then, this is what we've got so far. Alright, so far so good? Okay, yeah Lisa, nothing wrong with being a lefty, although when I, was, um, when I first went to school a few years ago, my teacher did try and get me to do uh, to work right-handed and my mum went up and shouted at her. I always remember that. <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't it? Okay, we've we all, we all done that bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to put our stencil back on. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, there we go, line it up, is I'm going to now mark around in pen the bits of the outline that we can see from here to here. So I'm not going into my little aliens there, my little weeds. I'm just filling in those there. And see that one I'm going from there to there. So I've just done from there to there, to there, to there, and there to there. Okay. Using my stencil again, just going to come in a little bit you see there come in a touch there we go just to give me a, an idea and I'm just going to put let's go a bit thin it border there oh, okay border there to my tile and I'm going to do exactly the same again one there you see why the stencil now is pretty pretty neat to use isn't it it's not just giving you a circle it's giving you that nice curve you can draw around and again do it freehand it's not a problem but I know some of us I know we worry a little bit too much when we we've got to do these little curves okay well, I see a few lefties coming in there now okay so this is what we've got so far I'm going to go for pencil now, just for a moment. All right. And I'm going to work on this section here. Nice and lightly, because again, it's, it's just a guide. I'm going to put a line up here. And then see this section? I'm going to split it into two. And I'm going to split this section into two. Okay. Into my tile. And I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to split that section in half. And then this one, so you see I've gone on, on a bit of a, an angle here. I'm sort of working on the fact that I've got this curve, so it just makes it... What's that? <laughs> yeah, they do look like nails, I suppose. Yeah. It's a, a blast from the past of my old teaching days. I used to teach design technology, nails and screws. So I've got guides to look all the way around, you see? Back to there. So back to pen. Okay, how's the pace today? Are we okay with this? Am I going the right pace? I, I know we've not got to get colour in particularly, so we've got a little bit more time here. So I'm starting with that middle line and I'm creating that triangle shape there. 
and then from here I'm going to go up and I'm going to join here so from that one to that one and then on this side from here and I'm going to join this little fella here there, to there okay so I've got this point in the center same again so here I am look there's the middle line so that's where I'm going to come down and create that triangle shape all right and then from here I'm going to this point here and then here to this point here okay all right down into this one up here Oh, funny that, Rita, that majority of you were left handed. There's um, three, three children in, in our family, and um, it's only me left handed. Mum and Dad weren't. I see here I've got a little one, so I'm just going to go to about. Yeah, I'm going to sort of filter it as though it's going underneath. There we go. She's just sneaking out there, look. Hi, Garth. Are you getting on with that dream catcher? There we go. And there again. And then up here to this one. And then from this one to this one. Okay. All right, so here we go now. This is what we've got so far. Okay. A little bit symmetrical-ish at the minute but that's fine because we've got things that we're going to work out in here i'm going to continue actually no, i'll continue let's go um into this triangle and i'm going to put um a little line and then i'm going underneath this one and then i'm going to follow that curve and again you can use your stencil for this but you know if you take your time give it a go and then underneath and into that triangle Oh, now you're just showing off, Sheila. Yeah, being able to use both hands. Actually, I did try right-handed tangling. Um, and it's a bit tricky when you're left-handed. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, superhero badge. Yeah. yeah, we've got a little bit more to do on it yet. What's coming? Okay, so each time I'm just turning my tile, I'm putting that curve in. Now, sometimes when you f you're trying to sort of go slow and create that curve free hand, you sort of press on a bit more. Just relax your hands. Don't let it stress you out. You've got a line to follow. There we go. <sighs> so far. There we are. So far, so good. Okay, so I'm going to come back up to these triangles at this top section here. Okay. Oh, Gracie, wait till you see what's going in the middle. Oh, okay. So here you can see I've got a little bit of um, a right angle. So let's sort of accentuate that. When we used to draw that in the middle of them when you were in, you were in school doing maths. And I always used to colour it and I used to get told off because it's not for colouring but that's okay now because it is it's fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm using again using this line as a guide and this one is my angle sort of thing I'm going to draw a series of lines just to fill that part in <laughs> nibble most managed <laughs> I have done that I must admit but yeah, just, just relax with your pen a bit. Let it do the work. There we go. Okay. So here we go again. I've got this shape, same shape. So I'm going to put that 90 degree in again. Colour it in. See, I'm turning it so I find it easier to draw down bank. So my tile tends to move to make it more comfortable for whatever I'm doing at that particular time. There we go. 
Oh, a red packet writer. Don't you love those envelopes? I, I think they're fantastic. And I've actually got quite a repertoire now with the supplier. My, yeah, he's my, my friend Albert. Um, supplies me with them. I've actually been on the phone yesterday asking if he'd got some more. Um, so hopefully I'm going to have a delivery perhaps tomorrow of those. Okay, so I'm back on these two tiles now. I've turned my tile, so there's my other two, look. Working it round, and I'm gonna do the same again. So, there's that 90 degree shape there. Little box I'm gonna colour in. Okay, turning my tile, so you can see now it's gonna be top to bottom like this, so I can sort of keep my line even there. It's a good tip, that actually. If you, it's fine working down towards you. Oh, I lost you. There they are. It's a lot easier. And you do tend to keep a straighter line that way because you're you're not sort of arguing and with your, your wrist or your elbow. Okay. Same with this one. There we go. Filling that one in. Okay. Turn it to that sort of shape. Pulling the lines down, turning round. Oh, hang on, there we go. There we are. So let's put this one in. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sally, you're missing out there. Like a lot of my kits, I like to sort of present them as gifts where possible. So um, they, they do come in nice packaging. Well, I think they're nice anyway. So if you've got the starter kit, you know that there's a little black envelope that you've got all your little bits and pieces in. Or well, your dream catcher comes in a red one. There we go. And of course, they're all blank, so there's nothing to stop you um, tangling all over it, which would be quite nice. They, uh, they take colour really well, so you can even ink around it if you wanted to. They're nice quality, really good quality actually. There we go. Come all the way around. Okay, all right. There we go. See where we're going so far? So I've got the three done. So I'm back to this top one now. There we go. And Again, as before, fill in that little corner. I got black card again. Uh, yeah, I have, Marianne. We're not going to do black tiles in these sessions because we're trying to work with just the basics and what people have got in their homes. So uh, I didn't want to do a black tile and sort of leave anybody out if they hadn't got any. So we're just focusing on these ones but there's nothing stopping you doing exactly what we're doing right now uh, using a black tile or a different colored tile for that matter and a different colored pen so it's just sometimes sticking to the essentials where possible just to make sure as many people as possible can uh, can join in there we go so this is where we're at so far all right, so it looks now like this sort of front section, well, this section's come to the front, hasn't it, or to the foreground. So um, let's focus on this one. All right, deep breath, are we all ready for this? Okay, I'm not going to work in the middle. I'm going to come to one side a little bit, but just hang on a minute, see what I'm doing, and then you can do yours. Imagine, and I'm not saying this because I want you to all go and run and find sort of a five pence piece although i think this is a bit smaller than a five pence piece i want you to create a, a little orb kind of shape you see they're nowhere near round is it okay all right so i'm sort of to one edge i'm not quite to the edge but to one edge if you're a little bit further in that's fine but that's where we need to be we need to get one of those in all right i'm going to count to three and then i'm going to do the next bit Okay, give you a chance. One, two, three. Okay, 
can I order? Yeah, of course you can order some, yeah. Um, I think in, in my shop, I think I've got a monochrome collection, but if you just me message me and say, I, I want just black, it's absolutely fine. You can have just black. Okay, I've, I've come back in with the stencil, you see? And I'm just going to use it to guide me a little bit. You see, I've lined it up here with oh, my little orb. So I'm going to follow it through and create a curved line. See? And then I'm going to join it again. And from the same point, another line. I've got that going on. Okay. So then I'm going to do the same again. I'll line it on a little bit further around. I'm not measuring how far around, just a little bit further around. And draw that line again. Now you see here, it's sort of just pitching there. And line it up again. And you see here, it's actually going into this triangle here. So that's fine, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to stop that point and then go underneath you see so i'm just going to make that bit smaller there so you can see the whole thing there we go so you see that's where i started with my little bubble shape and then here i've created this curve and this curve All right and then here like i've gone underneath that line that i've drawn there okay so i'm going to go around let's put another one in Another one in here, so again, just following that curve. Now again, if you want to do this freehand, um, the one, the finished sample I've got, I did freehand last night, but by all means do that. Okay, I'm going to ignore that a little bit now. I'm going to come round here. Let's go, yeah, let's go into this one here. And another one there. You see, each time it starts at the same point, it just gets a bit wider. So you see here, look, following this out, it just sort of like comes out there. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> yeah, sure, Marion, me message me some and I get a minute. I'll, I'll sit down, I'll have a look and see what I can do. All right, so I'm coming round here and that's going to go in there. And then let's make that. From there a bit wider. There we go. So you can see that I'm creating this sort of offset swirl type of thing. I'm probably going to get another two in here. Now if you've not got the same amount, that's absolutely fine. Don't don't worry about it. It doesn't have to have a set amount. It's um it's just giving it that effect. So everybody's is going to be slightly different. So that's fine. See, I'm going to get another one in there, see? Now, again, you can see that I'm going from here, look. Way down, and I can go inside that triangle again. And then from here, there we go for the last one. Underneath there, and back up to there. Okay, there we go. sort of gives it a bit of movement doesn't it quite nice that one okay all right at this point one more bit with the pen and then we can go in with our pencil so I'm going to take each section separately I'll better a small one first I'm going to create a curve inside there I'm not touching these ones just inside the gap there but I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker not hugely just a little bit and then let's do another one and just fill that section in and then another one and you see it's sort of changing shape a little bit isn't it the further i go down as it's getting wider still got that curve but it's just got it's got a little bit sort of more shallow there now my next one, I'm going to totally ignore this. I'm not trying to match them up at all. In fact, it's probably better that you don't match them up. So you see, it's sort of nice offset. One, one's not going to match the other. There we 
go. Follow it through. You see, I'm not I'm not having this um, this black line too thick. Just going in with a little bit and follow it through. Might even have that one a bit finer. There we go. Just uh, keep working your way around with these stripes. So when I was coming up with this particular idea, uh, I wanted to use the circle, but I didn't want it to end up looking like we'd used a circle. Hence, I thought we'd stick with lines today wherever possible, although they've got curves on them. There's no real bubbles. Although we could put some on later, it's not a problem. Uh, I just thought we'd, we'd steer away from them and we'd go a little bit more structured today especially after uh, the one on Monday and it was very organic. It's just nice to sort of uh, come back a little bit, I think, at times and just do something that's a little bit more laid back. Okay, so you can see that I'm working my way down each one of these shapes, just putting in that black line. I'm not trying to match up to the shape next to it. So just uh, go in my own way with it. There we go. Just fill in each one. You can see here I've got one. I'll perhaps have one in there. Look, you just see that one peeking through. Just turning my tile as I go. So there we go. Let's have one in here. Just nice and gradually filling it out a bit at a time. There we go. It's got a bit thicker now. We'll get another one in. So this one's a little bit of an odd shape, but I'm going to just continue as I've done before, putting those curves in. get a little bit showing. Even get one look in there. Okay. And then the last one. Filling in there. Little bits. Almost done with it. So we get one in there and one in there as well. Okay, let's have a look at that one. Alright, so again, it looks like it's got a little bit of movement going on there, doesn't it? Okay, you can put your pen down, cap on, and we're straight in now with pencil. Now, I'm going to start sort of from the middle outwards, uh, but you might find that you want to leave the middle little bubble here and not do anything with it until you've seen one that I've, I've done after, but I will show you how I've done it in pencil. I'm going to do, you see I'm using not the point, I'm using the side of the pencil and I'm just going in and I'm adding what I would sort of call, it's like a little side smirk. There we go. And then in with my tortillon. And I'm just going to nice, very gentle, swirly strokes. See I've not gone quite to the edge there, I've left that little white gap and getting a little bit lighter. Let's just fill it in. Okay. Now, of course, if you watched the, the last session, you'll know that you could do that in colour. It does, yes. Um, and here's the one, if you have a look at this one. Hang on. Uh, where is it? There we go, look. Hang on. Look. You see, I have actually coloured that middle bit in. But I'll show you that and the whole, whole thing in a minute. Okay, so we've done that one. So then the next bit is we're going to look at these ones, these sort of stripes that we've done here. And what I'm going to do, I'm being quite heavy, so I'm going to follow that original sort of curved line I drew. Same there. Okay. Looking my way around. So I'm leaving this one. I'm not doing anything in there, but I'm just adding some of that pencil line either side 
same on this one right the way up back into that bubble turning it round way back in even underneath that little bit there way in just systematically following it round till you've covered each one on all sides so let's have a look at that that's how it looks looks a little bit rough and ready but then again back in with your tortillon and I'm just going to very very gently go down the line in swirls See? and then that's just it's almost like a, a little zigzaggy kind of shape and I'm putting very very little pressure on very little pressure so that graphite's going to do all the work for me okay same on the other side so you can sort of get it going by doing these little swirls okay and just very gently zigzagging all the way down you see what it's doing so we've got something that's quite dark on this edge but it's getting lighter and lighter as you come out almost to nothing because we're trying to keep that center section totally clear of any pencil whatsoever so into the next one okay. very gently see, let's just uh, pull that out a little bit more same with this one just work from side to side and keep any of the pencil out of that centre there. Same again. Swirl it down. And those little zigzags very gently. See a little bit there. And around to the next one. Susan, thank you. It's nice to know that there are people out there that actually are interested and want to do it. I found it really, really useful, very therapeutic. Uh, and it's, uh, it, it helped me a lot. Actually, I know there's, I don't know if there's many of you know that I wasn't well at all. Towards the end of last year, and did have to go in hospital an operation I'm so glad it was last year and they got it done and, and I did take this into hospital it was really really useful really helpful uh, and certainly when you you know when you're sat there and you can't do much you know just picking a pen up and a small piece of paper like this it was uh, you know nothing to carry you didn't have to have all your pens and pencils around you it's uh, it was just really good to do Plus then I think sometimes, as, as now really, if you've got a journal that you put in these in, you know, you look back on this because you sign and you date everything. You think, do you know what? When we had that lockdown, this is what I did. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to pick my pen up a little. And, you know, as we again, as we've done before, I'm just going to go back over some of those centre lines. I'm not doing it all the way around. I'm just bringing that back just sort of part way so you can see there where it's sort of accentuating that, uh, that middle bit just to give it a little bit more detail there there we go so just a little bit coming from there that's it okay so let's have a look at that so far. So look at that, how that works. It comes up and down. Yeah. Okay, so here we go then. Uh, working from that one. I'm going back in with my pencil now and looking at, see these, these shapes here. I'm going to add a bit either side. See, I'm, I'm on that point now. I'm pressing on a little bit. Yeah, and then a little bit underneath there, either side. 
off and I show you that I'm just going to sort of flick it up a little bit with the tortillon and then again flicking it towards the centre trying to not touch the centre if I can and smoothing that out a little bit there we go okay it's a bit more so turn it round and I'll do the same again a little bit underneath those a bit under those and one there one there there I'm trying to keep a little bit in the middle turning it round those bits so it's very repetitive we're doing the same thing each time just adding a little bit and following it through and that's where you can lose the hours you're <laughs> just carrying it on Oh, Carol, pen and pencil. Do you know what? It's a case, whatever you've got in your cupboard at the minute is you could use. But um, the ones I'm using at the minute, I'm using um, a Sakura Micron pen, which is, here we go, hang on, we go out a bit, which you can get them very, very easily from, uh, from Amazon. Actually, they're still delivering at the minute. And I do actually put them in all my most of my kits I would say um, not necessarily my stencil packs but you, you do get them in my kits your pencil you're looking at um, it they vary I mean this this one is a very soft HB but uh, as long as it's nothing hard so if you're not got a, you don't really want like a 1H or a 2H that's it's a bit too much because you want something where the uh, the graphite's going to move and if it doesn't move you're not going to get much of that shading in okay so here we go onto my little aliens or nails or little weeds and I'm just going to put a little bit of pencil you see and just flick it up that stem a little bit same on this one okay oh, Sally Ann say if you've got a, a basic pencil there it'll do the job um, so this is quite a soft HB I'm quite proud of this one because it's got my name on it. So it's uh, something that I've recently invested in. There we are, look. Making my way through. You see that earlier one that I coloured in? It doesn't matter, look. Because it's covered over now. Same with this one. There we go. Let's give it a little flick. And do you know what? I'm not even going to smooth them off a bit. I'm just going to leave them like that. There we go. Let's go a little bit lower. Okay, so now we're working on these sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in on this side. And see, I've gone over the black. And on this side. And on that side there. Okay. Now I'm going to repeat that. So this one this one and this one and then again with the tortillon just going to swirl around nice and gentle pulling from the edge and I'm going to try and keep the centre with no pencil in at all you see it's got that little bit of light there and then the same here working my way around it's like two eyes, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look. Yeah. Now working on the next one. Okay. Okay. Oh, once you're feeling a bit more human, are you okay? Uh, hey Dawn, yes, I do sell photo corners. If you want to have a look on my, my little shop, there's some in there. You're more than welcome to have a look. But, uh, here we go. Following it round. Nice and gentle. So I'm not putting any pressure at all on there. I'm just letting the paper stub there just move that pencil around all by itself. Okay, Ooh, let's go that way. Let's go that way. To the next one. 
my way round into that one. Same with this one. And then again, just moving it round a little bit, nice and gentle. Just adding in that little bit of graphite on the edge. Don't worry about going over the black. There we go. So I suppose you'll, you'll gather that I've, I've slowed down a bit today. Um, I know the pace was a little bit quick on the last one. And if people couldn't keep up, I apologise for that. But I'd got so much to get through because I know you want you asked me about colouring and I wanted to get some colour in. So I hope this one's been a little bit sort of slower. Hey Mary, um if you have a look at the in a minute at the top of my page there's a button I think that you can click. But if not, just message me and uh, I'll send you a link. I'm sure somebody else will show you on. So here we go. Um we've got our lovely little swirl on the inside there, which sort of you wouldn't have imagined to just get this shape from this stencil and I'm showing you how to use a frame like this that will actually give you the curves and change it up a little bit it's quite um, <clears throat> excuse me it's quite nice to sort of just see those things uh, the last thing we need to do on this is to sign it so I'm going to put mine in there in that little corner so showing you the one that I did um, the other night just so you can see the difference when you start to add some colour you can see it's the same one same pattern but just by adding the colour in the centre section here it just starts to lift it it might even if you're thinking about colour adding a touch of some maybe actually shall I just do it now being that I've got my pencils with me today is if we add a little bit of that green here you see I'm going over the whole thing I'm just going in where that shadow's added I'm just touching it up with some green just to sort of match that center so it doesn't need much you don't I mean we did go into a lot of depth um, on our last session and, and coloured it a lot but you know it just goes to show you don't necessarily need all of it if you don't want to use it there we go We're just adding that touch in there just brings it a little bit there we go so looking at this one that we've done just purely with the pencil and the pen and then this one which we've done and you can see there i suppose as well Every time you do one, it's going to look different. It's going to work slightly different. So one, two, three. See, I've got a few more there than there. And this one, you know, everything's a little bit. But that's absolutely fine because they've been drawn by hand. And you're never going to get something. There, there. They match sticks. <laughs> I know when it's all, I'm all relaxed now of doing it. So it's your choice really whether you want to go and stick with the the just the pencil and the basics or whether you want to add some colors entirely up to you whether you want to add some shadow around the outside frame here that was good that will give it a different look to it as well or whether you want to start adding some more of these and go out onto your journal page that could be quite interesting so it'd be nice to see where you take this one uh, now, if you have got any pictures of tiles that you've done for the last few sessions, I am hoping this evening to put them all together as one big picture. And if you'd like to be part of that and you'd like to see your picture in the middle of everybody else's, then please, could you personal message me now? Because I find if I trail sort of like down Facebook now, I'm, I'm getting lost and I'm losing some of your pictures. So if you want to, please just... Just send them me in a message and I'll add them in. That would be lovely. So um, the deadline for that, I've said, is six o'clock this evening. So please, there's, the more the merrier. It'd be, it'd be absolutely lovely to see lots of them together. So please do that. And OK, our next one uh, is on Friday. I know it's Good Friday, but I think we're all going to be in, aren't we? 
so let's do <laughs> let's do it uh, let's do it at the same time on Friday. I'm going to have to change the time a little bit for Monday, but I can let you know more about that Friday. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Glad you've enjoyed it. Uh, yes, I have got your previous tiles. They're in my folder, so they're all going to be in there as well. So that's lovely. Thank you so much. All right, well, you have a great day and enjoy that little bit of sunshine. Go and put the kettle on and have a, a bit of relax. I'm actually looking at my husband now to say, put the kettle on. And he said, yes, of course, my love, I will go and do that for you. So I'm off to have a cuppa um, and I'll get back to um, doing some more making and I will see you all hopefully on Friday. So stay safe and I'll see you then. Okay, bye. <laughs>